Hey folks, here at osmvtattributes.com. You're watching our video review of the rewritable NFC tags for your NFC compatible smartphone or tablet. These are a generic set of two that you can program and uh, create for your own little shortcuts. And you can find them at amazon.com or eBay for about $5 for a set of two, which makes them very inexpensive, especially in comparison with some brand name official NFC tags, perhaps by Sony, which are pre-programmed and cost about, again, $15 for a set. So again, this is at a fraction of the cost, um, not as, you know, visually appealing because it's entirely white in color so it's not going to be as bubbly or as cute um, and Sony's has some more texture to it but the technology and you know the entire how it works and, and if it works and how well it works is all the same compared to the more expensive options out there which makes these generally pretty useful and recommended. Now NFC or standing for near field communication is pretty interesting it's a new type of wireless technology that's been incorporated well it's not exactly a new type of technology but it's been newly incorporated and named um, to be placed in more modern smartphones, especially more high-end smartphones. Um, and what it does is it allows the device to come in contact with these tags um, and you can uh, create different shortcuts and applications and they will launch it on your phone. So if NFC is turned on and we press uh, on the icon here, it might automatically launch a web browser on my phone, for example, um, or I can automatically launch a specific application, Google search, uh, create uh, different modes for the phone. Like if I, if I tap on this um, and put this on my bed, um, it's automatically turn off Wi-Fi. So it's very useful in the sense that you, it helps you save time. Um, these are also stickable. So they have like a little bit of a sticky on the back. They're adhesive. So I can stick one on the car. And then whenever I get into the car, I can tap my phone on the side of the car. And then since I'm in the car, it's going to automatically turn off perhaps Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to conserve battery so that I don't have to go in and turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth by myself. And over time, that's going to save you again a lot of time. Um, I can also put one by my bed, for example, and again, turn off the, the brightness of the screen or something like that. So it automatically will adjust different settings, open up applications, and such. Um, each NFC tag comes with a tiny amount of memory. This is how the device actually works. And it has a tiny little program on there. And then when you tap on it, it's like a tiny, tiny, tiny SD card or a memory card. And it stores your information and you can rewrite it. But it's absolutely tiny. They come in different classes as well. So this very inexpensive version is, I believe, the class C, which has the least amount of memory. Um, but you can get larger amounts uh, for more price, a more expensive price tag depending on how much you really need. So if we have an NFC compatible device here, this is the uh, ZTE Flash, we can actually go in and uh, show you how that exactly works. Now for you to actually rewrite the NFC tags, uh, each NFC compatible device obviously will have the NFC button support on their settings um, if they want to go in that. But in order to actually rewrite the NFC tags, you need to download a third party application for that process. And it's actually uh, free and you can do it in the Play Store anytime you really want. Um, Again, I can turn that on. It says allows data to exchange from the phone, touches another device. So again, NFC doesn't just have to be for these tags. I can touch two NFC phones together and share contacts again. I can touch the NFC to a Google wallet or something. So I can pay for things using my phone. Um, you've seen those at McDonald's. Uh, so it, it works with a lot of different applications that are pretty impressive. Um, anyways, back on track. Again, you can go to the Google Play Store. There are a few applications you can download for free. One of them is Tag Writer, which is free. And then the other one is called NFC Tools, which is also free. Both of these applications allow you to monitor your NFC tags and also for you to rewrite them, um, and they work pretty well. So back on track with the ones that we have over here, again, these generic sets. Um, again, I can just tap on them. It's going to make a sound, and it says it's a new tag detected. It's an empty tag because I haven't programmed this one yet. If I wanted to now, I can go back in and program this NFC tag by going into Tag Writer, uh, which is the free application I was talking about. Again, you can view your tag by seeing, again, what information is on there. It's going to make a sound there. It's going to show you that it's empty. It has 137 bytes that you can actually rewrite on. It's the NFC form type 2 tag. And then I can say done. Um, I can also, again, create and store different information. How I can start customizing this is actually, again, create, write, and store. And this allows me to define a new NFC tag data. So I can create different actions in here, including um, writing or storing different stuff, like contacts, bookmarks, uh, to, the, to the web browser, to the SMS text messaging, to the Bluetooth client, and the such. So for example, I want to do Bluetooth. Um, I want to go to preferences and turn it on. Uh, let's not do that, actually. But I can create, uh, again, these different functions. Like I want to turn on Bluetooth. I want to use the web browser. I want, I want to use the telephone number. And these are different actions that I can program and also different applications so that whenever I tap on this one after I've programmed it, I can then go into that application. So it's pretty intuitive and easy to use. So for example, if I wanted to define a new set again, I wanted to perhaps, let's just say, load into um, a, a specific URL. So let's just go into 
let's just go to Google actually. So I'm gonna go to Google.com. Oops. Google. Uh, so that means that whenever I am touching this NFC tag, it should technically take me into Google. And then I can say next. And afterwards, I can say I write multiple NFC tags by me, and then I can go launch this application. It's ready to store or share. So I can now I can tap on this, and it's uh, selecting NFC data type, and um, again, new content. In this case, it failed to write because I didn't put in the complete URL. This is just google.com. I have to say www.google.com. But again, you get the idea. Writing on information is very, very quick, and you can see how it was going to be a success or a failure by a few seconds. So it's very sensitive in terms of how it actually works. So that's basically the program and how it works. This has been, um, I've already programmed this by myself to launch a web browser. So if I accidentally hit on this or put it on there, it's automatically going to load. It's going to press on that. Uh, it's actually going to load the a barcode scanner in this case, actually. And you can see how the uh, Zing Team's web, uh, web, uh, barcode scanner that I downloaded from the Google Play Store will automatically load in this instance. And then I can put on different barcodes, scan it. It's actually going to go take me to the web. Um, so it's very easy to use. So perhaps I can put this on a table or ta tape it somewhere. And whenever I you know, tap on it when the phone is on, it's automatically going to take me to the same application very, very fast and pretty responsively. So overall, this is definitely a pretty cool investment to have if you have NFC on your phone, especially since these tags are so inexpensive that you can really enhance the functionality of your device by putting in different modes, by different places in your house and different places in your car and the such. Um, and overall, I, I definitely think it's worth investment if you um, toggle back and forth between wireless options or open up commonly used applications a lot. Uh, so thanks for watching. This, we would definitely recommend these are the rewritable NFC tags for our setup two for $5 here at osvtxreviews.com and our brother site at OS Tech News.